Anxiety is on the rise in the world today. Being a Christian, we still face and have to deal with and confront anxiety, but being a Christian means that we can have a different and better way to deal with and overcome anxiety. I would actually argue that as Christians, we have the only true way to conquer anxiety. The Bible talks about how we deal with anxiety in a number of places. One of them is in Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I'd like to highlight three different lessons we can take from this passage. First, the rebuke. Second, the requests. And third, the response. First, the rebuke. At first blush, it could seem like this passage is saying that Christians should not face anxiety or worry, but that's not actually what it's saying. It's a command. It's telling us that when we are facing anxieties and worries, we need to fight it. We need to deal with it. The Bible talks about this in a number of different places. We are called not to hate. Does that mean we never have feelings of animosity or hate towards others? No, it doesn't. We do. We have to deal with them. We have to face them. We have to get through them. Similarly, we're told not to covet. Does that mean we never want other things or have to deal with what we see in the world? No, it doesn't. I know I certainly have to fight against those feelings. This passage is saying the same thing about anxiety. We will face it, we will have to deal with it, and we will have to get through it. Second, this passage tells us how to deal with and overcome our anxiety. Specifically, we take our anxiety and worries to God as requests. The world would tell us to deal with our anxiety by focusing our attention elsewhere or by burying our anxiety. That's not the strategy presented to Christians through the Bible. What does it mean to bring our requests to God? First, we acknowledge what's making us worried and bring it to God in prayer. Secondly, we are to come to God with thanksgiving. Third, what can we expect as a response to bringing our worries to God? First, we should not expect our circumstances to change. They may change, but that is not the promise provided in this passage. In fact, as Christians, we should generally expect that the world will give us trouble. So if our circumstances don't change, what can we expect from bringing our requests to God? A peace. We read that this is a peace from God that is beyond the understanding of the world. How can we have a peace if our circumstances don't change? I think this all goes back to the giving thanks part. It feels incredibly unnatural to give thanks while we're in the midst of anxiety and worry. So why does this passage tell us to be thankful? This is really all about providing perspective. If I'm worried about losing my job, what do I have to be thankful for when going to God in prayer? First, we know that God listens when we talk to him. Secondly, we know that he loves us. And third, we know that he is with us and promises to sustain us throughout life, both the ups and the downs. If I think about these things, these incredible gifts that the maker of the universe listens to me, cares for me, and will be with me, suddenly the prospect of losing my job doesn't seem quite so bad. In light of all the incredible blessings and gifts we have been given by God, we can be thankful. That provides perspective about our worries and anxieties. And those gifts and those blessings give us a peace despite all the things and worries we have in life. So this passage tells us three things about dealing with anxiety and worry. First, there's the rebuke, a command to deal with and overcome anxiety. Second, the requests. We bring our worries and anxiety to God in prayer with thanksgiving. And third, the response. As a result of being thankful for all the incredible gifts and blessings that God has given us, we can have a peace that surpasses all understanding. Don't believe me? Try it today.